Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we are talking about Cisco Umbrella. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking Cisco Umbrella. So what is Cisco Umbrella? How does it work? Let's go through it. So the first thing is Umbrella uses DNS to capture all of the requests from endpoints. Now those endpoints can be on the network or they could be out at a Starbucks, they could be at your home, they could be anywhere. And we can intercept those DNS requests. And based on those requests, makes decisions if we allow that request to get out to this destination or if we block it. Now, how does DNS work? Well, a client will request www.yahoo.com. It'll send that request to a DNS server. And the DNS server's job is to take the friendly name, yahoo.com, and convert it to an IP address and send that information back to the client. That's what DNS does. And Umbrella uses that request and puts it through some intelligence. And so that intelligence says, hey, is this malware? Or is this some content that we want to block? or do we permit it? And it can do that whether, like I said, if the client's on the local network, in your corporate environment, or out at a home, or at a Starbucks, it doesn't matter where that client is, it can provide that level of interception, filtration, and security, and policy enforcement. So that is what Umbrella does. So why would you care? Why would you want Umbrella? Well, if you're an IT organization and you wanted to enforce security policy and be able to control security policy centrally, regardless of where those endpoints are. So that means I could block things like malware, I could block things like gambling, or any other types of content that I want to filter. Now when I say block malware, what that means is a lot of malware uses command and control. So it may not prevent the malware from actually getting on the endpoint, but when the endpoint does get infected, a lot of times the endpoints try to go back out and get command and control information, and they use DNS to do that. Now Umbrella integrates with Cisco's Talos team. They get a ton of security information, and they incorporate that in real time into the Umbrella cloud. So as these malware threats come out, they identify them and put security measures in place in the Umbrella Cloud so that if your client goes and tries to get to this command and control address, it can identify it, block it, and prevent that from getting more information, maybe spreading further in your environment. So those are the reasons why you would consider Umbrella. Now, to sum it up, it provides security, it provides content filtration, it provides uh, you know secure, centralized policy enforcement related to content in your environment, and it also can prevent some malware from spreading further in your organization. And I think the benefit is, regardless of if you're behind the corporate firewall or you're out at a Starbucks on VPN, not on VPN, you can enforce this security policy, which makes it great for how we're living today with people working remote and also coming into the office. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I wanna know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya! Oh,